Whether you're into dystopia, space travels, alien invasion plots, or alternate history, there's something for everyone on this list. Welcome to my Shadow Tavern, and in this video, I'm going to count down the top 10 great new sci-fi series that you can watch right now. Make yourselves comfortable and have a great time watching. Hello Tomorrow. This is a sci-fi comedy drama that transports us to a retro-futuristic world. In this world, a group of salesmen offer unhappy people on Earth a chance to buy a timeshare on the moon. The main character is Jack Billings, the charismatic leader of the salesman who discovers that he has a son, Joey. Jack takes Joey under his wing and tries to bond with him while keeping his absurd business scheme from falling apart. The series recreates the atmosphere of the pulp magazines and science fiction novels of the 1950s. It features vivid and nostalgic visuals, vintage cars, gadgets, costumes, and sets. The series also explores the themes of the American dream, consumer culture, and deception in everyday life through its plot. It received mixed reactions from critics and viewers. Some praise its originality, humor, and acting, while others criticize it for its superficiality and lack of a deep moral message. But for fans of retrofuturism and comedy fiction, it is a real gem because such series are rare nowadays. The Power is a TV series based on the novel of the same name by Naomi Alderman, who also co-wrote and executive produced the show. The series is also notable for having a predominantly female cast and crew, with women occupying over 80% of the key roles on and off screen. The series explores a world where women suddenly gain the ability to generate and manipulate electricity in their bodies, giving them physical dominance over men. This sparks a global upheaval in gender dynamics. Women use their new power to challenge the oppressive structures of patriarchy while men struggle to cope with the loss of their privilege. The series follows four main characters whose lives are transformed by this phenomenon. The series poses questions about gender equality and invites viewers to imagine how the world would be different if women had a natural biological advantage. The series is intriguing, provocative, and original. However, it also tries to tackle too many issues and events, resulting in a lack of focus and coherence. It also contains many violent and graphic scenes, so it is not suitable for younger audiences. Black Knight. The series transports us to a dystopian future, where only a few people survived after a comet collided with Earth, and Seoul became a desert where breathing is possible only with masks and oxygen tanks. People are divided into four classes according to their wealth and access to resources which are delivered by special couriers. However, there is a secret group of Black Knights among them who help refugees and fight against injustice. The main characters are the legendary Black Knight, a master of martial arts, and Sawol, a refugee boy who dreams of becoming a courier like him and uncovering the truth about the disaster. The series consists of six episodes, each lasting 45 minutes. The filming took place in different parts of South Korea, as well as in Mongolia, where the desert scenes were shot, and there were used lots of computer graphics and special effects to create a futuristic and post-apocalyptic world, which may not suit everyone's taste. The series Silo transports us to a dystopian future where the remnants of humanity are forced to live in a giant underground bunker, isolated from the toxic and destroyed world on the surface. Life in the bunker is subject to strict rules that the inhabitants believe ensure their survival. The main character is Juliet, an engineer who unexpectedly becomes the new sheriff of the bunker after her predecessor Holston decides to leave his shelter and go to certain death outside. Trying to find out the reasons for his act, Juliet uncovers secrets and conspiracies that under mind the foundations of the closed society. The series consists of 10 episodes of 50 minutes each and is based on the first book of the trilogy Wool by Hugh Howey. Morton Tildum, known for The Imitation Game and Passengers, is responsible for directing. The series impresses with its gorgeous visual style and camera work and received good reviews from critics and the public who noted its captivating and suspenseful plot, complex and vivid characters, as well as a successful and creative adaptation of the original work. Moving is a TV series adapted from the webtoon of the same name by Kang Full, who also wrote the script. It follows the adventures of three teenagers who find out that they have inherited superpowers from their parents, who used to work for a secret organization. The series skillfully combines action, drama, romance, comedy, and family drama as the characters struggle to conceal their abilities and deal with their past traumas. The series has 20 episodes, each focusing on one of the different characters' point of view. The series has a fast-paced plot, clever twists, and turns and well-developed characters. The series was a hit among critics and audiences, becoming the most-watched Korean original series on Disney Plus worldwide and on Hulu in the US by hours of viewing. 
Duty After School Imagine a world where mysterious spheres appear in the sky, unleashing killer insects that start a global invasion. The South Korean government decides to draft all high school students into the army, promising them extra points for university admission. The students have to balance military training on school grounds with exam preparation. They must learn how to handle weapons, survive on the battlefield, and cope with the horrors of war. Duty After School is a fantastic action series, thriller and drama in one. The plot of the series is incredibly exciting and dynamic. It also has a lot of emotional and touching moments that make you empathize with the heroes and their fates. The series amazes with its high level of production, realistic and high-quality special effects, camera work, and sound accompaniment. The scenes of alien invasion and battles with them are made at the highest level. They impress and surprise. It also uses a lot of practical effects and props, which give the scenes more authenticity and atmosphere. The comedic moments also fit well with the tone and mood. Mrs. Davis is a series that defies the boundaries of a single genre. It is a remarkable blend of comedy, action, mystery, and sci-fi that keeps the viewer entertained and intrigued. The series is created by Tara Hernandez, who worked on The Big Bang Theory, and Damon Lindelof, the writer of the cult classics Lost and Watchmen. They have combined their talents to produce an original and profound series that offers laughter, suspense, and insight. The series follows the story of a world that is ruled by Mrs. Davis, an artificial intelligence who acts as a personal assistant, a social platform, and a peacekeeping agent. Mrs. Davis knows everything about everyone and controls everything, and most people are happy with her involvement in their lives. But there are those who suspect that Mrs. Davis is hiding her true intentions and plotting something terrible. Among them are Sister Simone, who has left the convent, and Wiley, her former lover, a hacker and leader of an underground movement. They team up to find and destroy the Holy Grail, the source of Mrs. Davis's power. The Lazarus Project is a science fiction series created by Joe Barton, the author of the famous crime drama Giri Haji. The main character of the series is George, a programmer who wakes up one day and discovers that time has rewound back six months, and everyone around him is living as if nothing happened. He finds out that he accidentally witnessed the work of Project Lazarus, a secret organization that can reverse time when the Earth is threatened with doom. George becomes their agent and joins a team of people with unique abilities. They have to fight different threats to the world, such as pandemics, nuclear wars, meteor showers, and others. The series is an exciting science fiction adventure that raises questions about the consequences of interfering with the passage of time and the ethical dilemmas involved in saving the world at any cost. Foundation is an epic saga about the fate of a galactic empire in decline and a group of exiles who try to preserve the legacy of human civilization. The series is based on Isaac Asimov's Foundation series of short stories, which is widely regarded as one of the most influential works of science fiction in history. The creators of the series are David Goyer and Josh Friedman, who have worked on such projects as The Dark Knight Trilogy, Man of Steel, Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles. The series takes place in the year 1066 of the Imperial Era, when the Galactic Empire, which has ruled most of the Milky Way for 12,000 years, is facing a crisis. The Empire is governed by a series of genetic clones of Emperor Cleon I, who are known as Brother Day, Brother Dusk, and Brother Dawn. However, they have to deal with internal conflicts, conspiracies, and threats from rival factions and planets. Meanwhile, mathematician Hari Seldon has developed a new science, psychohistory, which enables him to predict the future based on statistics and probability. He foresees that the Empire will collapse within a few centuries and that the only way to shorten the ensuing dark age of chaos and barbarism is to establish a foundation at the edge of the galaxy to preserve all of humanity's knowledge and culture. This ambitious sci-fi series, which tries to adapt and update the classics for a new generation, has received mixed reviews from fans. However, the series is a stunning visual spectacle. The cinematography, the set design, and the visual effects create a rich and diverse galaxy. Star Trek Strange New Worlds is a sci-fi series that explores the origins of some of the most beloved characters from the original Star Trek TV series. The show follows the adventures of Captain Christopher Pike, Science Officer Spock, and First Officer Number One as they explore the galaxy aboard the starship USS Enterprise, a decade before Captain Kirk takes command. The show is a spin-off of Star Trek Discovery, another series set in the same universe. The creators of Strange New Worlds were inspired by the positive reception of Pike, Spock, and Number One, who appeared in the second season of Discovery. They decided to give them their own show and to bring back the classic Star Trek format, standalone episodes, optimistic tone, and colorful visuals. The show has been well-received by critics and fans alike, who have praised the cast, the story, the production values, the nostalgia, and the spectacle.
And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the buttons below the player, and see you in the next issue.